Turn any image into a golden work of art. This effect will add high shine gold to any photo, whether it's in bright daylight or in a dark gym. All resources featured here today can be found on Envato Elements, where you can get unlimited downloads of graphics, photos, and fonts, millions of creative digital assets with simple commercial licensing. I'm Abby Esparza with Envato Touch Plus, let's jump right into it. Let's start by creating a quick base for our image. First, a color fill layer set to a light pale blue. Next, let's right click Create Smart Object, just in case we want to change these upcoming settings later on. Now let's go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter, and then under Effects, we're going to set the grain to 27, just to give us a nice bit of texture. Go ahead and place your extracted subject. Use any extracted method you'd like, but you do need to make sure that they are extracted 100%. Duplicate the subject and hide the original. We will be needing it a little later on, so make sure not to delete it. Now let's go to Image Adjustments, Black and White to turn the image grayscale. And then Filter, Camera Raw Filter again, where we're going to adjust two settings. First, go to basic and set the texture to negative 59. And then second, go to detail and set noise reduction to 100. This will smooth out your image. This image originally had a fair amount of noise and smaller skin details, so we had to smooth those out substantially. Some images may need more, some may need less. Let's right click Rasterize Layer. Now, if your subject has a layer mask intact from being extracted already, I'll feel free to skip this step. But if not, hold control and then click the subject's layer icon. This will create a selection in the shape of the subject. Add a layer mask and the mask will form the shape of the subject. Now let's go to Image, Apply Image. Setting the layer to Merged, the channel to RGB, invert checked, and the blending to difference. We are now going to repeat image, apply image one more time, keeping the same exact settings. Next, you're going to select any areas where you may need to repeat the apply image settings to intensify the effect. For this image, I reapplied the apply image to the back of the head, ear, and upper neck region, using the lasso tool set to a feather of 50 pixels so it created a nice blended transition. Next, let's take a soft round brush and on a new layer, fill in any odd looking highlights with white, like on the subject's nose and ears here. Time to create a gradient map adjustment layer. Clipping it into the subject layer and then setting it to the following colors and placements. This gradient map will change your image from silver to gold. Underneath the gradient map layer, create and clip a levels adjustment layer. Use this layer to fine tune your gold effect, making it either brighter or darker. Sandwiched in between the gradient map and the levels layer, create a new layer set to overlay. Use this layer to add any additional brightness or darkness. Now we're going to flip back on our original subject layer. On the golden subject layer, we're going to mask out any areas we don't want to be gold like clothes, glasses, or heavy shadows. If you're going for a dripping gold effect, this is where you'll mask those drips in.
Next, add some final shine by creating two new layers, setting one to screen and the other to overlay. On these layers, we're going to paint some star-like reflections. I'm using a simple six-point star brush, though any brush will work, and you can also just hand paint them in. I like to layer the stars over top of each other, so I'll paint a star on the screen layer and then a similar star over top of it on the layer set to overlay. Let's finish things up with a Summer Vibes color grade. First, a color lookup layer set to Bleach Bypass at 24% opacity. Second, a color lookup layer set to Horror Blue at 75% opacity. Third, a color lookup layer set to the second Kodak option at 50% opacity. Finally, a selective color layer affecting the reds, yellows, cyans, blues, magentas, and whites. Group all of these adjustment layers together, naming that group color grade, and then bring down its opacity anywhere to 20 to 50%. The amount is completely up to you and how intense you want this color grade to feel. I ended up liking it around the 25% mark. And that is all there is to creating a golden statue in Photoshop. But if that wasn't enough and you're looking to learn even more, why not check out some of the other excellent videos that Envato Touch Plus has to offer. If you like this video and would like to see more, consider giving us a like and even subscribing if you haven't already. And don't forget to click the little bell icon to be notified of all new videos, including tips, tricks, and tutorials. Happy designing. See you next time.